Lurial Client has been updated to Micro Bedrock Edition 1921.111. To get it, you want to go over to their official website, which I will link right down in the description below. As you can see, I'm already there, and I can just hit on this red download button, and your download will start automatically. Now as you can see in my downloads, I've got the Plario Launcher and it's as easy as double clicking on this and bam! We've got Plario Client right over here. This is the injector and in the settings area you can choose a lot of customization. I recommend enabling the beta version of this client but you can choose between a bunch of different versions as well as other launch customizations. I'm not going to touch that too much, I'm just going to click on this red launch button and what that's going to do is automatically open up your Minecraft installation with Flareo Client injected for you. And here we have it. Flareo Client is inside of Minecraft, really you'll probably not notice it that much yet. Anyways, I'll now be showing you how to get started with using this client. However, if you want a full in-depth usage tutorial for Flareo, then I have actually already made that and I'll link it right down in the description below. Anyway, to get started with using Flareo, you want to press on the K button on your keyboard. That is going to open up their main Click UI area. This is where you're going to find almost everything, um, although you have, may have actually already seen that information on the notification that popped up when you injected Flareo. If you do appreciate me showing you this, then of course make sure to subscribe and join my Discord server as well where you can find many more clients just like this one. I'll link it down in the description below. Back to Flareal though, in their ClickGY area you can find all of the utilities that they have to offer. We can click on them to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off, and if you hover above these four long enough in the correct way you should be able to get the description of what it does um apparently i'm not very good at hovering oh there it is anyways if you click on these settings cogs you'll very bad example if you click on these settings cogs you'll be able to find the customization settings for these utilities and actually also potentially a more fleshed out description um once again that was not a very good example but as you can see this one has a little more customization Anyway, you guys get the idea, right? Now, a lot of the utilities are actually going to be things that show up on your screen. For example, the CPS, which is going to display my active clicks per seconds. Um, this is not a great location for it, though. And so to change that, you want to go back in here and then click on this little pencil icon. And you'll be able to move this to anywhere on your screen. We've got snapping, which is fantastic. And you can use the scroll wheel to make this as big as you want. Anyways, say I want it so small that I can't read what it says and I want it right down here. Well, then you can do that and bam. Now, if you've got very good eyes or an incredibly big monitor, then you can see exactly how many clicks per seconds I'm getting. Anyways, opening the Flareal GUI back up, most utilities that you use are actually going to get pinned, which is quite cool. They've changed the layout of this a little as well since the last time. So there's a few utilities that are going to be enabled by default and sometimes in videos like this I would mention the best utilities that you should definitely check out at least. Uh, but Flareal's already got them all pinned and enabled for you. The zoom for example, as you can see we can enable it with the C button and well it is already enabled. But this means if I press C in game I can have Java like Optifine Zoom but with Flareal in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is fantastic. And the other one I would mention is the Java Debug Menu. As you know, Java Edition has a debug menu that you can press F3 to access, and Bedrock Edition doesn't have this unless you're using Flareal, in which case, with that enabled, you can simply press on F3, and we've got the debug menu here as well. You'll notice it's slightly limited compared to Java Edition. This is simply because Bedrock Edition is more limited, but everything it can show, it does. And it's it's just incredibly cool. There's so much with this. And you can enter its customization menu here as well, and you can customize everything it shows, the colors, all of that. And it'll actually update in real time as well, so you can actively view the changes you're making. Maybe I want the text color to be red or black so I can't see it. Who cares? It, it's this client is fantastic. I actually highly recommend it. Flareal is um, 
an amazing client. Now, for some of these things that I am showing, you do actually need to be using the beta DLL. So make sure you have that selected in the launcher. Although it is in beta, there's really no issues with it. So you won't really notice that. Anyways, right now, though, that was basically Flareal Client for you guys. Thank you all ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.